I've already shuffled and will be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up for the two of you. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Libra, the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with, Three of Wands, and it's it's paired with the Ten of Pentacles. I'm sorry, the Ten of Cups. Three of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Now, when the Three of Wands appears, you could um, um, found that your finances, they were going much better. In fact, it would have been a time when you felt like your ship had finally arrived. So, you could have been feeling very strong with a good reason. You probably finally experienced some important success after you had been through some difficulty. Now, the Three of Wands, you can refer to work in a very positive way. Even if you don't work outside the home, it does indicate that your efforts, they're seen, appreciated, and are well respected. Now, it's with the Ten of Cups, the card below the word pass. Now, this is another one of the most uplifting cards that you can receive in a reading. This card, it points to happiness. Perhaps in a more mature, grown-up kind of way, as opposed to the Nine of Cups. Either way, it's a really, really good card to get in a reading. Everyone wants their Ten of Cups. In their reading. Yeah, it speaks of happy family life. Even if you're single, to the overall well-being that goes beyond you, yourself, to include those that you're most concerned about. Your parents, siblings, children, your pets, and much more. You could also, also be spiritually fulfilled. It's a part of the picture here. It's, but yeah, it's a part of the picture too. Now, this is a good card to see, like I said, regardless of any question. So, basically, Libra, Three of Wands clarified by the Ten of Cups. So, what I'm picking up on is that, for some of you, you were trying to make a decision, should you go towards this person, but it looks like things worked out. You were no longer trying to make a decision. You tried at one point, and then you realized that you, you should go forward. You made a decision. You're going forward. And that's what you did. And you were looking ahead um, with growth and expansion towards this person. And they could have been feeling the same way about you because with the Ten of Cups, it's, uh, it's, um, it's about feeling like your dreams are coming true so and it's just overall just things going really well it's about happiness good things to come and everything is just it just felt right so you got on board and your person was on board with you that's what I'm picking up things went really well for you and your person with this recent past energy but let's see what's coming up for the two of you. We got the Six of Pentacles, and it's with the Nine of Cups. Now, the Six of Pentacles is often a sign of a turn for the better, especially when it comes to money. It could be with, with regards to money, because when you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot, that can indicate money, cash, coins, finance, income. It speaks of Equality, it speaks of fairness, the nature of life. So when this card appears, you could be heading into a positive cycle. Six of Pentacles is often a card about generosity, meaning that you're about to be the beneficiary or maybe the giver of something of value. So share what you have because there's always someone who needs it. Now it's with the Nine of Cups. This is one of the most uplifting, pleasant cards to get in a reading. Yeah, uh, Libra, you got Ten of Cups and Nine of Cups in your reading. This is pretty good so far. Pretty darn good, yeah. Now, like I said, everyone wants the Ten of Cups in a reading. You got it. 
and you got the nine of cups so just know that this nine of cups it's often known it is often known as the wish card it can mean that what you're hoping for or dreaming about it's most likely to be yours in a brief period of time now the appearance of this card can be about happiness good things to come it can usually mean that what you want is likely to come into being in your life and if you're asking a yes or no type of question well this is the most powerful indicator of yes so coming up Libra six of Pentacles clarified by the nine of cups so you know like I said the recent past energy is showing that you, you you got on board you were no longer trying to figure out should you go towards this person and you did you made a decision to go for it and it, it, things it looks like with the ten of cups things were going just wonderful now coming up it's shown that with this uh, six of Pentacles it's showing that it's gonna be a good relationship and it's gonna prosper that's what six of Pentacles can mean when we talk about relationships very good relationship your person could start um, they'll probably start doing a lot of nice things for you because the six of Pentacles it can be about generosity it can be I'm just speaking up they're gonna start doing a lot of nice things for you making you feel really special and um, they feel blessed and satisfied to have you because the nine of cups when he talks about love and relationships there's a very strong desire with the nine of cups this person will have this is how they'll be feeling about you they'll feel blessed and satisfied with like I said with a very strong desire for you you are their wish come true yeah so they'll like I said with the six of Pentacles here and they'll probably start to show you how much they find you to be their wish come true they'll probably start doing a lot of sweet things for you maybe buying you nice gifts or just doing nice things for you yeah so let's move on over let's see what the challenge is okay we got temperance and it's with the Sun card now with temperance um, although your relationships are likely to be going quite well you may need to look at any deeper personal issues and see if they're standing in your way and if they are how to work through them and integrate them because the idea would be to do what it takes to find balance in yourself and in your relationships and, and with any goals and aspirations with any goals and aspirations that you might have now it's with the Sun card this Sun card um, things are likely to be going really well um, however even though your finances they're in good shape when you get the Sun card just keep in mind this does not mean that you should lose focus on what's truly important in life and money is not very high on the list for some of you now for some of you I know it is but just keep in mind it's gonna be a good time to socialize meet new people get out and about and if you're looking for a new job the Sun card it signifies it's right around the corner so your challenge temperance clarified by the Sun so you uh, Libra with temperance here it's showing that you're gonna really start to feel like things are coming together you're gonna feel like your life is balancing out and you're gonna you're gonna realize that this this person this connection all that's going on is making you really happy because the Sun card is about um, adding sunshine to your life or their life or them to yours it's about bright and happy times so yeah you it's showing that a lot of happiness is coming your way and you're gonna feel balance and I'm kidding for a lot of you you haven't felt that way in a while well at least before you came together 
with this person or before you decided to go forward. You made, when you made a decision to go forward and connect with this person, I'm getting before this, your life was probably not as balanced, but now things are, feel like things are coming together and you're very happy. Yeah, so let's move over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We've got the Six of Wands. <coughs> and it's with uh, Queen of Pentacles. <coughs> now, the Six of Wands, it signals victory. So, yeah, this reading is going really good for... Things will be looking really good for a lot of you uh, Libras coming up. You got all good cards here. The, uh, the Six of Wands is another good card. It signals victory. Recognition. So if you're anxious about a court proceeding or if you want to win your lover's heart, just know you'll be victorious. This can indicate any kind of celebration. You could be a part of a graduation party or a commencement celebration. Or maybe you're receiving a reward for good work that you've done. The Six of Wands can make you feel really, really good about yourself. You could feel as if you got a lot of support from everyone around you. On the other hand, you could adore someone else by where adoring them makes you feel amazing. Now it's with the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles, it can indicate that you could be spending time, money, energy on your home, getting it to be more comfortable. And this is a good thing, provided you don't take on too much debt. Because people could be looking to you for insight and or advice. You'll be able to help them if you decide to do so. This is also a time period when you can get a whole lot accomplished. So your outcome, Libra. Six of Wands clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. So, yeah, the outcome is um, actually really good. Six of Wands. Yeah, it's, it's indicating that the two of you will be really, really into each other. Um, to me, the Six of Wands, it's, it's like a twin flame type of energy. Or a deep, deep soulmate. It feels that way. Because when you get the Six of Wands at a reading and it talks about love and relationships, it suggests that you maybe, for put it this way, for example, you, you could be the type that needs need someone to boost your ego, while the other person, they're perfectly fine doing the boosting, doing the admiring. This is called fire of balance. The two of you feed off of each other energetically. And with this, you get a lot of sexual energy. There's a lot of passion. And there's long nights spent in bed. So a lot of chemistry. Um, you could feel like, like I said, you're with a strong soulmate or someone that just gets you. Someone that just... You, you get them and they get you. Um, if you take a look at the Six of Wands, it's the card above the word outcome. Yeah, this lady, she's standing on a podium and she has all these people below her. She's waving her wand in the air and they're doing exactly what she's doing. They're mirroring her. And she's getting recognition. And attention. And it feels like victory and success. So yeah, you you and your person, it's showing you two will make magic. Or everything's going to feel like magic. Uh, a lot of chemistry here. A lot of passion. Now because it's with this Queen of Pentacles, um, you might start to realize that um, there is things that you maybe you've been um, slacking on. Maybe things are going so good here. This is such a good reading. Um, 
Because you've got happiness, you've got wishes coming true, you've got dreams coming true, you've got um, going forward. You're no longer stuck on trying to decide what to do. You're going forward with this connection, and your person, they're appreciating you, they're being kind to you, they're being generous to you, and it's, everything's feel, it's feeling balanced and it feels like your relationship, your life is finally coming together with temperance here. You're happy and they're happy, but it's showing that you're going to need to remember other things. Like, if you look at the Queen of Pentacles, it's the card that's below the word outcome. Yeah. This lady, she's sitting in her backyard, she's sitting in her lounge chair, and she's, um, she's, she's checking her bank account, she's smiling, so she's got money in the bank, so you're gonna have to remember to check your, check your finances, don't forget your dog, he's trying to pin you down there, because you might be slacking. I'm paying attention to your dog. He's pinning her down. He's sleeping on her toes so that she can't move. <laughs> yeah, and the squirrels and birds. I'm sorry. I had to laugh at that because, um, you know, our animals, our pets, they really love us unconditionally. And a lot of times when things are going well, in our lives, sometimes we slack off, especially if you've been spending a lot of time with someone else. So you got, you got the squirrels and the and your dog, and the birds that come by. Yeah, you're remembering that you know, you you got other things and people that love you too. So, yeah. So you just, the outcome is showing it's really good. Yeah, because you're going to be making magic with your person. So it will be really easy to forget the other things in life that um, miss you and appreciate you. So you could you could just remember you, or decide to fall back a little from your person, just a little. I'm I'm getting not a lot. So that is the reading that I have for you, Libra. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings. They do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings. If you'd like to try one of those, so Libra, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass, and we'll all get through this. So stay strong, take good care, come back and join me for the next Libra reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this reading did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, when you get the readings, the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed, meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Libra, I can never see it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.